Stingray, and it showed the potential of the Corvette in a world of Euro sports cars. It has a lightweight fiberglass body, a three-link rear suspension, and very good handling. But as Corvette grew older, it started to nuzzle up against the muscle car world. And when it did, it lost a bit of its sporting ability. And ever since, Chevy's been trying to figure out a way to build something like this sports car that still has a muscle car twang. And I think they finally managed it with this, the C7 Corvette. So let's start with what all of you want to know about, the engine. It's a reworked and revisited LS3, renamed LT1. Chevy swapped all but a few bolts and pins, and now the new engine makes up to 460 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. Made it to the engine is an all-new 7-speed manual transmission. Yes, 7-speed manual, like Porsche's. And the transmission features auto rev matching, yes, like Nissan's 370Z. Now, Auto rev matching is nice when you come down a long straight and just wanna hit gears really quickly. The car does the thinking for you. But if you're old school and you wanna do a little heel and toe, all you have to do is flick one of these paddles right on the steering wheel and it turns right off. Now, the old car had a rear mechanical differential and so does this one, but this one's electronically controlled. This car's got the E-diff, part of the Z51 performance package which means the car can make its decision to go from anywhere from an open diff to a locked diff. And that means a lot when you're turning in and holding a corner, like this corner, where a Corvette would usually just slide its ass around. Now, it just sticks the whole way through, and the car just will go flat from here, and it comes out of corner so cleanly. A true sports car needs to be dual purpose. It has to be able to go on the road and rip up the race course on the weekends. So, we know it can rip up the race course, but is it worthy on the road now? Because, let's face it, old Corvettes, kind of dingy. And when I say dingy, I mean dingy looking, inside and out. The last Corvette looked too much like the C5 and it got dated really fast. This new C7, though, doesn't even look like a Corvette. It's worlds different. The car just looks like something edgy, something sporty. More than aggressive, this exterior is functional. That hood vent vents. The rear brake cooling ducts, they cool. So while you might not love the C7's exterior styling, you can appreciate that it actually works. And for the first time in a long time, the Corvette has an interior that works too. It has stuff like a touchscreen and a Bose audio system and comfortable but sporty seats and leather and aluminum trimmed everything. It is far more sumptuous than any Corvette interior we've seen. So you take the car's new look, inside and out, and you bundle that with the engine, trans, suspension, all that good stuff, and you ask yourself, has Chevy made a sports car muscle car? And we'd have to say yes. This car feels so good, and it's so powerful, and it's so comfortable and it looks so mean, but it's not pompous. It has that supercar quality without being the supercar price. Really, Chevy has created a sports car muscle car.